mabuhay or in kapampangan luit kayo. Today's question comes from the United Kingdom. Simon from Winchester asks, What happened during the Treaty of Paris back in 1898? The Treaty of Paris in 1898, also known in Spanish as the Tratado de Paris de 1998, was an agreement between Spain and the United States that officially ended the Spanish-American War, a peace treaty that ended the splendid little war. It was signed on December 10, 1898 in the city of Paris, and it decided the futures of the Philippines, Guam, Puerto Rico, Cuba, and other islands in the Pacific Ocean, islands that were once part of the Spanish Empire. But the problem was, was that during the negotiations, there was no representation from any of these islands. Not even anybody from Cuba nor the Philippines, countries that had already won and declared their independence from Spain. In fact, the first Philippine Republic tried to send a Filipino delegation to the Treaty of Paris to participate or at least observe in the negotiations. But sadly, the Filipino lawyer and diplomat Felipe Agoncillo was denied participation. Despite his petitions, he wasn't allowed to join. They practically shut the doors on Agoncillo. They did not even want to read his memos, and they just ignored him throughout the entire process. Another little known fact about the treaty was that Spain was not willing to relinquish or renounce any of its claims over the islands of Cuba, the Philippines, Puerto Rico, Guam and the Marianas. Spain, under the region Queen Maria Cristina, was determined to keep its last remaining colonies. The Americans demanded for Spain to cede or sell the islands of Guam, Puerto Rico, and the entire Philippine archipelago. Spain remained reluctant, and it was only after much pressure from Uncle Sam that the Queen of Spain was forced to sell the sovereignty of the islands to the United States. And they sold the island and its people for 20 million or in today's money, about $610 million. But the big problem, a huge problem that the Western imperialist powers ignored was that neither Spain nor the United States had effective control over the Philippines. By this time, Spain had already lost the Philippines to the Philippine Revolution. The Philippines was no longer under Spanish control. It was no longer under Spanish rule. On the other hand, the United States only had effective control over the walled city of Manila. In fact, they only had control over Intramuros, or the older walled district of Manila, a district that is about the size of only 0.26 square miles, or 166 acres, a small district of old churches and old houses. So not even the entire capital city. And it is also important to remember that the Sulu Archipelago and the island of Mindanao had never been fully colonized by Spain. They remained independent. In fact, Spanish presence over these islands had been very limited to a small number of military camps scattered across the region. And by this time in 1898, even these scattered Spanish outposts in Mindanao had already been lost to the people of the islands. So in other words, this whole sale of these islands was bogus. Spain and the United States had no rights to sell nor buy the sovereignty of the Philippines and its diverse people. The 1898 Treaty of Paris was also known as the Treaty of Peace. But this so-called Treaty of Peace between Spain and the Americans did not result in peace nor justice. It only further marginalized the people of the Philippines of Cuba Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Marianas as mere pawns in the games of Western capitalism and imperialism. The signing and the ratification of this treaty only confirmed the fear of many Filipino revolutionaries that the Americans were not there to help liberate the islands, but instead they were there to deprive the Filipino people of their independence an independence that they had worked so hard for, independence that millions of Filipino people had died for. And that is it for me today. If you want to learn more about the Philippine-American War, check out the links below to get a copy of my new book, Black Lives and Brown Freedom, Untold Histories of War, Solidarity, and Genocide. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to help me make more videos like this, show your support and please be my patron. Dakal pong salamat. See you next time or in Tagalog kita kits and in Kapampangan, make it